In this video, we're going to talk about the femur. You're looking at the anterior portion of the left femur. This is going to be your distal end, and this is going to be your proximal end. Starting with the proximal end, you are looking at the head of the femur, right here, so this area. And the inside the head of the femur, you have the fovea capitis. Now, the head of the femur sits in the acetabulum, and the ligament of the head of the femur, and that is the actual name, uh, articulates with the fovea capitis. Then you have the neck of the femur, and still on your proximal end, you're going to have, on the posterior side, you're going to have the greater trochanter and your lesser trochanter. In between those two structures, you're going to have this ridge, which is your intertrochanteric crest. Going back to the anterior portion, between the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter, you have the intertrochanteric line. Now, moving to the shaft of the femur, which is this portion here, and turning to the posterior side, you're going to have this little rough spot, which is going to be your gluteal tuberosity. And then you have this nice line down the shaft of the posterior side. That's called the linea aspera, which actually literally means the rough line. And then, moving towards the distal end, you're, and I'm turning back to the anterior portion, you're going to have the patellar surface right here, where the patella articulates. And then, switching to the posterior side, you're going to have the lateral condyle right here, and then your medial condyle right there. In between those condyles, you have the intercondylar notch or fossa. Then you're going to have your medial epicondyle, which is going to be just superior to the condyle, to the medial condyle. And then you have your lateral epicondyle, just superior to your lateral condyle. And last, you have on the lateral side, or sorry, the medial side, excuse me, you're going to have your adductor tubercle. This is going to be this rough portion here.